Hello everyone. This is going to be a short video that shows a really good farming way or farming experience route for Marbury Shore in Valkyria Chronicles. Um, if you are not progressing the story past like chapter 14 or so, uh, there's an ability in here that's going to be a pretty big spoiler, so keep that in mind. Um, this works best if you have your scouts to level 17, however it is doable before then also. Here is a so I'm just going to skip through this. Um, this is just a skirmish. It's pretty much an identical copy of Marbury Shore. It's a normal mode, not hard mode. Um, I think the same strategy works on hard mode. In fact, this strategy kind of works on a lot of missions. And if you've been watching my series, this is kind of what I've been doing in the meantime over and over again ad nauseum to prepare for the next mission. So we're only going to take these people. Uh, Alicia is the only one we need, and the other two are for the CP. Now, let's begin the so we complete this with one turn, it's an A rank, and it gives 50, about 50,000 experience and some absurd amount of money, like 100,000 or something. It's very simple, and I'll point out the way you can do it before level 17 also. You do need a few orders, but uh, they're not too far up the list here. So I actually, um, I've seen other people do this without doing this step, however I feel like this step makes it smoother every time. Just gonna fire a smoke shot right here. And what that does is it lets us go past these towers without having to deal with the damage. Um, depending on what you get for abilities, sometimes you take a lot, sometimes you take a little. So we're gonna take Alicia, we're gonna give her a defense boost right away. It's a very early, um, very early one you get. We're also gonna give her caution which reduces um, interception fire, which I believe is just, um, you know, if you have a unit running, any fire that they take. And finally, we're going to do Awaken Potential. This will make sure that she gets all of her ability procs, such as, uh, you know, first aid boost, and her special ability, and healing and all of that sort of thing. So we're just going to take her and we're pretty much just going to run straight to the end. Now if you do this after level 17, she'll have double movement. Um, gives a chance when she runs out of movement that she gets to full bar again, no matter how much she moved previously. If you don't have this, it's still possible and in fact you don't always get the proc. Hopefully we get it here. Nope, we didn't. Okay, so we're not going to get it. So we'll just do this. Take out this guy, and one no turn. And you want to take someone out because it gives a chance for a mysterious body to proc. If you just end your turn, I don't believe it can. So we'll end here, and we'll take her again. And we should get a double movement this time. Think you can stop me? It's a pretty high chance with awakened potential up. As you can see, she takes very little damage. Um, she'll start to take more damage from the tanks and such, but it's still safe. Now, if you don't have double movement, you'll have to duck in to where this other camp is. So, here, here we go, she just procced it. And we see we get a full bar. So, if you don't have double movement, this spot is safe. You won't be able to finish it in one turn, but you can keep her in that camp and leave her there. So, her special ability procs, and of course, she takes very, very little damage. I'm actually going to stop here to be safe and heal up. Yeah, again, so if you don't have double movement, you won't be able to get here in one turn, but you can just stop at that camp, kill that guy, and you can hide there. You won't get attacked on the next turn. So we're gonna move up. Yep, and she'll take some damage, but it's not a big deal. Move up right here, and throw a grenade. Depending on your level and your grenade level, this will either kill the guy or just do damage. This time it just did damage. This is basically like a worst case scenario, which is kind of good to show off. My wounds are healing. And then we'll duck in behind here, stand next to the flag. Now we need two more turns, which we have. Turn, okay? And you can see, even using the, the smoke shot, we still have enough to take care of this. So take care of that guy. And turn. And then we will turn and take care of this guy. Think you can stop me? Now there is a chance he could dodge, but I've never had it happen. Don't even think about it. 
because Alicia also has a dodgeable shot. Pretty much takes care of that. And with those two dead, you can occupy the camp. Mission complete, and that's it. And you'll see here that we get uh, quite a bit. I'm almost 50,000 and almost 100,000 uh, expenses, money. So yeah, there you go. There's a little trick you can use if you're struggling with the mission. You need to grind up some experience and don't want it to take forever. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this little video and the rest of the series will be coming soon. Thanks for watching.